we know that we have problems with having those tight hips. Let's open up those hips so that we can move, feel, and perform at our best. Let's get it done in 10 minutes or less. Let's get cracking. Hey. All right, let's get going. First, um, we're gonna be focusing on the breath with these stretches. So we'll do five to 10 breaths throughout each of these movements. Let's go ahead and get started with a forward. Sitting in this forward position, legs will be extended. Let me turn this way so you can actually see. Um, legs apart, gonna be outside of your mat. We're gonna breathe, cut those hands together, and we're gonna reach forward to your first comfort level. Five to 10 breaths, we'll take it back up and we're gonna actually reach a little bit farther the second time around. Hands cup. Make sure we're breathing, relaxing the shoulders. Let's go ahead and reach forward. Keep the toes flexed up towards you. Relax those shoulders, five breaths. In and all the way out for one. Relax into it, relax into it. Let's get one more breath. Come back up. When you're sitting a lot, those hips get tight. The fronts of your thighs, hips stay in that little crunch position all day long. A lot of times our shoulders come forward, we're hunched forward. Our necks are all in weird positions. We gotta open those up, especially if you want to decrease chances of back pain, aches, and being able to perform with our daily exercise. All right, hands down in front again. Now we're gonna inch it forward a little bit farther. Five more breaths, let's get it. Relax shoulders. Two more breaths, in and out. Take it back up. How you doing? All right, let's keep at it. All right, now what we're gonna do is we reach forward, begin to feel that stretch in the inside. Now we're gonna get into all fours. Hands and knees. Arms underneath your shoulders, keep your feet flat. Don't hunch up here, shoulders away from ears. This position here, now we're gonna go into a little bit of a forward lunge. Might be a challenge for some. Gonna bring right foot forward and lean your body forward. See here, lean into this stretch. I'm gonna look forward, get those five breaths in. You feel good here? Leave that position here. And go ahead and bring those arms up overhead and bring them back down. It's okay to go ahead and stay in this position too. Two more breaths. Set down into it. All right, take it on back. Same position here. Now we're gonna bring that left leg forward. That leg is gonna be outside of the hip. Bring it up as far as you can. See, I even have to inch up a little bit here. I have, I'm known for having tight hips. So this is a daily struggle for me too. All right, sink down in there. Shoulders away from ears, breathing. Get down as far as you can. 
Get some good pressure. Not, don't put a bunch of pressure on the front of those hands. Let's breathe. Two more breaths for me. Can't see my face, can you? How are we doing? You're looking good. All right, knees back down to the mat. I'm gonna go ahead, curl back under. I'll show you from this position here. And I have one leg extended. Gonna bring the other up. It's almost like you're hugging it. But we want to get good position with those shoulders down and back. Hug here, and we're going to do a rotation. So if you can't get the hand down, that's okay. Just go ahead and use your elbow to press your leg in a little bit there. Still, good position, up nice and tall. Let's keep, yeah, this foot's doing something. Let's keep it towards you. See if we can get a good deep stretch. Good breaths, in. Good. Use this time for you. You're worth 10 minutes, right? All right, that's my fifth breath. Now we're gonna un untwine ourselves. Cross that other leg open. You might feel that one side stiffer than the other. That's okay, I have that as well, crossing. I'm gonna turn away from you for a little bit. Stretch. Good. I'm tighter on this side. Let's get our breaths in. One more. Remember, five is our goal. All right, untwined there. Now we're gonna take it back on all fours, last good hip opener for us. Make your legs a little bit wider on each side of your mat, especially so you can get a little bit more ability coming back if you have some tipness, that tipness, stiffness, leaning forward. All right, arms out in front, you're gonna lean back, taking your butt toward your heels in that child's pose position. Let's get our five reps in for this. And if you feel comfortable, you can sink down a little bit lower. And if you feel real good, you can let that head touch the mat. I'm not there yet today, ladies. In and out. And we're back up. Last but not least, they're gonna go into a Shavasana pose. Now, this is yoga where you go into what's called a corpse position, relaxing and resting. And you can do this up until five or 10 minutes after your practice, at the end of your practice, or yoga, stretch, whatever you wanna call it. So here, don't do a thing, relax. Those legs down, palms are gonna be up. You're just gonna lay and be, not thinking about Anything, shoulders away from your ears. Relax, release, and reset. Good breathing here. Now I'm gonna sign off here in about 45 seconds or so, but you can stay down here as long as you like. 